Welcome back, everybody. It is time to wrap up our attack in town, our first mission in our campaign. The first thing I want to do is figure out what the heck happens to Cowboy, who exited the map via the enemy side. Rules say 44.2 that we need to roll a TQ check for him. His TQ is only a 4. He rolls a 0. Well, that is a great time to roll a zero, because that's the only way we get to keep him. With a zero, character returns to the squad after D6 days with an experience point to boot. Well, good job, cowboy. So, we need to um, figure out how many points we earned here to see what's going on. So... Um, dum, 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 dum. we get with our kills for each soul bat one two three four we get a point five six seven eight for those NCOs the Oberfuhrers are NCOs so that's eight we've got a prisoner here 9, 10, 11, and an NCO prisoner up here, here, where, got an NCO prisoner somewhere, it's got to be there, <laughs> first place I looked, blind, 13, 14, 15, and then we lose one point, for him going off this edge, we lose a point for our unbandaged light wound. That's 13. And we get 8 points for holding the church, which is 21. Which is a superb victory. That's a great way to start. I'll take it. Um, with a superb victory, we... My coffee pot churning away. We get a mirror point. Increase. We used up our rerolls. Decrease. Decrease. We increase our morale. We were high, we're now fanatical. That's as high as we can go. Alright. So now, let's go back here. We need to rack up experience points. So, let's see here. We've got merit here. Get all our ables together. Charlie, Charlie, Abel, Strickland, and then our other able up here. Mortel. And I'm going to get all my bakers together. Baxter. I'm going to get that Charlie out of there. <clears throat> More Charlies. More Charlies. More Charlies. More Charlies. My Baker. Another baker. Got to try to hear. Who am I missing? Not him. Can I stack yet? Abel. 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 Baker. 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 Charlie, Charlie, there. 
silly. All right, that's everybody. We'll start with Merritt, who has three KIAs and a POW, which is four, five, six experience points for the scenario. He can only get three. So I'm going to get his sheet up. Not that. I've got to be in the other place. All right. I'm going to get this off of here so I can just see this. There. He gets three experience points. One, two, three. All right, but because he is six, one of the things I've added to the game is the idea of more awards. The only way to get any kind of medals in this game, besides purple hearts, lots and lots of purple hearts, is to roll a 14 when you're in reserves. And the odds of that happening is extremely low. Medals happen more often than that. So if you earn double the number of experience points, maximum that is six or more you could be put up for a bronze star triple nine or more you could be put up for a silver star you can look in the discussion for combat two in the forums on bgg for my proposal and i'm going to use my proposal he has six so he can be nominated for a bronze star for his gallantry on that jeep I can't nominate himself. He'd have to be nominated by the lieutenant. And hey, look, the lieutenant's approaching. There comes Lieutenant Fliss. Coming to talk to us. He has a few things to say. First of all, my tactics in this particular mission were not stellar and part of that was on purpose part of it was not the part that was not is i'm a little bit rusty i miss some los stuff the smokes they always confuse my los compl um calculations i may have missed a couple of los probably missed a few other things par for the course i'm not perfect second i wanted to start with kind of suboptimal tactics to show kind of a progression of ability as the squad matures if I don't kill them. And I kept them kind of clumped up for that reason to show that they were still kind of green and still not very optimal. But the other thing is, I want these guys to stay alive. And our rifle skills are not that good right now. So until things are better, I'm going to keep everybody more bunched than I prefer just to mass firepower and make up for low weapon skills just by volume of fire. Try to put as much fire onto a particular point as possible, even if it's very low quality fire, to try to keep the Germans' heads down. Fliss is explaining to the men how <coughs> their tactics are a little bit deficient and he's kind of ticked off about the Jeep I mean who's gonna go back to motor pool to explain what happened to that Staff Sergeant Starkweather is rather um, possessive over his vehicles and he kind of takes it personally when you beat them up he's gonna make Merritt go back and explain he doesn't want to have to deal with Staff Sergeant Starkweather at any rate Five or less on a TQ or on a roll, you get the bronze star, but that is modified by the TQ or the leadership of the person nominating, which is a three in this case. So anything but a nine and we get a bronze star. And we get an eight and he gets a bronze star. So Sergeant Merritt got his three experience points. Let's bring this over. Sergeant Merritt got three KIAs. He got a POW. He gets his combat, combat infantryman badge because we've now bloodied our hands 
we get the European, African, Middle Eastern um, ribbon with our first campaign star for Normandy. And he's been awarded the Bond Star. We're still on the 28th. The Bronze Star is going to be a promotion of sorts. The bump he gets is that um, here. He's going to get a new skill. He's going to get inspiring Six twenty-eight is when we got that. So I need to give that to him. So let's go here. Yeah, I put inspiring there, so I need to put inspiring on here. Um, that is combat skill. Um, how many combat skills does he have? One. Combat skill two. Inspiring. And that also serves to give us another merit point and increases squad morale. But squad morale is already fanatical. So that is him. Strickland gets two experience points. Let's see, um, we want to add experience points. E. e. Mortel gets two. E.E. E. Baxter gets three because he got a prisoner. Strickland, nothing more tell. Baxter got a prisoner. And all of my guys get these awards. I'll fix that star in a bit. I'll clean up that and make that little campaign star smaller and bronze later. Um, Amos. Get out of there. Do do do. Oh, we're still up here. Amos gets four. Or three. <laughs> Four. Three. Because you got to kill and sharp gets two. So Amos gets a kill. And we need to figure out what's going to happen with his light wound. It's an on bandage, so we don't get a modifier. He's going to roll a three. He's out for three days. All right. So many things, so many windows. Amos he is going to be. Status Light Wound and he's going to be Buddy Buddy I'm 
trying to remember how to do this. It's been a little while. All right, sorry, Greg. I fumble around. It was right there in front of me. So it's just going to status where I was and it's wounded at the top of the list. I'm just blind. And you gotta click off. And it's three days he's out. That brings it one to first of July. It was Amos. Yeah. First of July. I'll put him over here. He's got a light wound. That's not so bad. It was just a ricochet from one of those MG42 rounds. Flattened out. Hit him in the shin. He's limping around. It's going to be a few days. He's off his feet. He'll be back on the line. But that does give him a purple heart. First of many for us. Okay. Get this back out of the way. And I already did sharp, so now we're up to Charlie. So that means we need sheet two. Campbell. Campbell got a kill. There he is. Campbell gets three. One, two, three. But he's going to be lost for six days. Um, plus two. No, just six days he returns. And he gets another experience point. So he gets four for that little experience. He's going to be lost to us for five days. So back over here. Campbell is going to be status lost status wounded to take him down. So you got to click five days. That's one, two, three, four, five, third of July. He comes back. There. Done with that guy. O'Brien. Everybody else just gets. Did anyone else capture a prisoner? Who got my other prisoner? Merritt got a prisoner. Baxter got a prisoner. So many things. Merritt got a prisoner. Baxter got a prisoner. Merritt got a KIA. Amos got a KIA. Campbell got a KIA. And then the artillery got a KIA. All right. So that looks good there. I think I can get rid of that. These guys all just get two. O'Brien gets two. Sheehan, Buck, Cookie, and me. We all get two. No skills, skills to deal with. Mm -hmm. 
So that's where we're at for that. Yeah, that's it. Um, I'm going to add in some nicknames. Where's sheet one hiding at? We're done with this one. All right. Oh, sheet one. Merit with his bold stand on the Jeep is now going to go by Mad Dog Dog Company. Strickland, being one of the senior fellows, is just going to be Doc. They're both in their 30s. Everybody looks up to them as the senior people. Mortel, we don't know enough about yet, or Baxter, or Amos, or Sharp. They will earn their nicknames as we go along. Um, let's go to sheet two. Campbell from Texas is just going to be co-cowboy because of his antics there, which are going to be discouraged. O'Brien from LA is our young medic who goes by Hollywood. She and Buck Cook from Louisiana has helped bond us together already with his excellent cooking skills from Louisiana. Call him Cookie. And that's our squad thus far. We've got two people out. We've still got plenty of people, 10. We're still frontline intensive. We're going to come back next time and start rolling again on our campaign. That's the record keeping for now. Good start, guys. I will catch you guys later.